My sister is usually someone who daydreams through most of her day. It took me a long time to figure out what was going on inside her head, but one day she told me that she actually has hundreds of imaginary worlds running inside her head all at the same time. I am part of only one of these many worlds. My sister has autism. My whole life, I've always felt as if I've been living in two distinct worlds. My sister's world and everyone else's world. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say that living in two different worlds is an easy ride filled with love and acceptance. Because her love is earned and my acceptance into her world as well as the acceptance of her diagnosis has been anything but easy. But I can tell you that I've gained much more than I've ever lost while trying to integrate these two worlds. At first, the acceptance of her diagnosis was really hard. My parents actually sent her to China to live with our grandparents for a year because my want for attention was causing me to get in trouble at school. I don't remember what this was like, but I'm pretty sure that my behavior improved because soon enough, she came back to live with us again. This was when I really started to get the sense that I was living in two different worlds. At first, the acceptance of her diagnosis was really hard on me. As an elementary schooler, I understood, although I didn't fully accept, that my sister's needs were more important than mine. Being an elementary schooler and having a sister with autism meant that my parents missed my back to school nights and open houses. I remember in second grade, I would watch as my classmates would present their artwork to their parents while I had to present my artwork to my teacher because my parents didn't show up. My first gymnastics competition might overwhelm her senses or the movies might trigger a tantrum. No matter how important these events were to me, I knew they couldn't be family events. And although I knew not to blame anyone, I felt very, very alone. I understood that my sister had her own needs and I understood that my sister's world was made up mostly of her imagination and that it had a finite population. But as her sister, I made it my mission to join her world and to understand her. My sister has taught me an incredible amount about love and empathy. Love has been all about being able to appreciate the high fives that sometimes miss my hand or the awkward hugs that always brighten my day due to her usual dislike of physical affection. More importantly, my sister taught me that love has been all about being able to separate my sister from her disability. One day, she's my best friend <clears throat> and we'll do absolutely everything together. But then the next, she won't listen to a word I say and instead of talking and laughing and dancing together, it's a day of her lashing out at me. At first, I felt like she didn't care about me and maybe she even hated me but I learned to accept that her apathy comes from her disability. Her disability is something that has taught me so much and I've learned a lot through my journey with her. But one of the most important things that she's taught me is the power of resilience. Having a sister with autism means a lot of ups and downs in your life. And they're so extreme that sometimes I don't even know why this has happened to me, but I will always know that this journey bet between two worlds have made me who I am. A sister, a lover, a guide. I know that while my sister may not always be able to show me, she loves me just as much as I love her. And I love my sister so much. She is truly an incredible person. Resilience has always come up. Lately, it's been really hard because she was recently um, diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So this meant a lot of changes to our family, which brought me back to when I was in second grade, sitting in my classroom and presenting to my, to my teacher. It has been really hard, but I, I will always remember what she's taught me about love, empathy, and resilience. So, as I get ready to leave for college all the way across the country, 
I will always remember the things that she's taught me, and I will remember her love, and I will remember the love that I have for her, and I will spread it with whoever and whomever I meet. Now, let me leave you with this. Love with your whole heart, even though there's no guarantee the other person will show you 100% of the time that they love you back. And let me tell you, as someone who has a sibling with autism, this is excruciatingly hard. Practice empathy because it will lead to happiness. Live for the small quirky moments and remember them when you're faced with the cold. Lastly, always be kind and give others the benefit of the doubt, whether they have a different mindset than you or if they live in a whole other world. Thank you.